بيقوم Hello, welcome back to Health Science Unit 5, Health Promotion. My name is Mr. Ahmed, and I will guide you through this lesson. So today we'll be covering lesson 5.2, principles of health promotion and the, the perils of health promotion. First, it's a have a look at the learning outcomes. By the end of this lesson, learner should be able to explain the principles of health promotion. Okay, now let's have a look at the, learn, the key word that you will learn through this lesson. First, we have environment, which is the condition that surrounds someone or something like hospital, like schools, and it all. Next, we have governance, which is the way that a city is controlled by the people who run it. Next, we have literacy, literacy, which is knowledge that relates to a specific subject, like what, like uh, knowledge uh, relates to health sciences, which is a healthy, balanced diet, and doing exercises is, is the field of health science subject. Okay. Pillars which have a basic fact or ideas or principles of something. Next, we have public, which is affecting all or most of the people of a country. Policy, which is an officially accepted set of rules, preventative, which is used to stop something bad from happening, like COVID-19. We have vaccination to stop uh, COVID-19 and it's all, okay? Now let's look uh, at three pillars of health promotion. The pillars of health promotion below, you will see the three pillars of health promotion, which is good governance. Second, we have healthy cities. Third, we have health literacy. Uh, this health promotion, this pillars of health promotion designed by, designed by the WHO, W World, H Health O Organization. The World Health Organization and some sentences explaining each one. Normally, a health promotion campaign or intervention will point to one of three pillars. First, we have got governance. Good governance has promotion intervention that requires laws and policies. Why? To be created are part of the good governance pillar. By creating laws and policies that encourage health behavior, people tend to make a healthier decision. Examples. Examples of good, uh, of good uh, governance include and examples of good governance in the United Arab Emirates is the fifth person tax uh, ID2 uh, sugar drink. This law was introduced in 2017 with the aim that people, especially school children, would buy less sugar drinks. Why? Because they cost more money. If people are buying less sugar drink, they are less likely to develop obesity and diabetes. Another example of health promotion in the good governance pillars. Another example is the law that passenger in the back seat of cars must wear seat belt. This law was introduced in 1917 in, in, uh, in uh, 2017 with fine given to people who break it. This aims is this aims what this aims for fewer diseases incur accident and example and the second example is creating a policy of no higher sugar snakes in a school this is creating a health public law to improve health by some examples like sugary drinks and uh, creating a policy of no high sugar snakes in schools second we have healthy cities Healthy cities, which is health promotion from the health cities pillars, is all about creating places that encourage people to be healthy. 
building parks in cities. And some examples of healthy cities include Dubai Fitness, Dubai Fitness Challenge, 30 Day of Fitness and Wellness, while forming a healthy habit that will last at a life's uh, last lifetime. And second, we have organized events such as Abu Dhabi Marathon, like this picture. And finally, we have building parks and putting outdoor exercise equipment in cities and town to what to encourage people to go outside. Clear. Third, and finally, we have health literacy. Health literacy, which is about educating people so that they can take control over their own health. Like when people are more informed about their health, they will make better lifestyle choices like good, uh, good uh, personal hygiene and uh, eating healthy food and doing exercise. Health literacy, which is being more than being able to read leaflets and make a doctor appointment, understanding food levels or following instruction from a doctor. Health education is linked with health literacy. Some examples of health literacy is the use of warning message on cigarette packets. On cigarette packets, warning message range from smoking skills. Smoking skills, why? To smoking cause more than 25 disease, including cancer and heart disease. Disease message are used to teach people about the huge dangers of something, of smoking. Some countries use image of real people who are suffering. Why? Because of smoking to try to show smokers what damage they are doing. Some examples of health literacy include health science lessons, and your doctor may provide you with relevant information leaflets or branches when you visit. And finally, we have after school cooking, uh, cooking classes. Now we have a question about pillars of health promotion, which of which is a which pillar of health promotion uses laws and policies to encourage health behavior. This is good environment all healthy literacy, all good governance. I wait for, for your com uh, comment in uh, chat, uh, like in YouTube, in the YouTube channel, okay? Second, we have match the following health intervention to the correct pillar of health promotion. Pillars of health promotion and health intervention. Good governance, which is uh, is uh, displaying healthy eating poster in schools and malls and doctor's circles, or creating the laws that ban smoking indoors, or organizing the running uh, competition in Abu Dhabi for all ages. Yes, good governance, creating, excellent, creating a law that bans that bans smoking indoors. Health cities, healthy cities, which is yes, organizing. Running competition in Abu Dhabi for all ages. Okay. Third, we have health literacy is displaying this playing healthy eating 
posters in schools and the malls and doctor and surgeries and it all. Clear? So we move the Ottawa Charter. The Ottawa Charter for Health Promotion was created by World Health Organization as a framework for health promotion. The blue circle, the blue circle in the middle of the Ottawa Charter has three basic strategies for health promotion. It, and it identifies three basic strategies for health promotion, which is advocate, enable, and mediate. Where in this page? Enable, mediate, advocate. Clear? The three basic strategy for health promotion, which is advocate. Advocate, which is address political and economic and cultural, social, environmental, behavior, and biological factor. Next, we have enable, which is make sure everyone receives fair and equal access to resources and information that impact health. This includes access to information and help with developing life skills that will enable someone to be healthy like like um, in, you prevent prevent you for something uh, unhealthy food and eating healthy food and eat on okay next we have mediate mediate which is health promotion should involve a range of sectors and organization and not just the health sectors Examples include government, organizations, schools, and community groups. This sector needs to mediate with each other. In next, we move the five actions area. The, the three wings and the red circle show the five main actions area that Ottawa Charter highlights as important area for health promotion, which, which is building healthy healthy public policy and re, uh, and developing personal skills and strat and uh, and strengthening community actions and creating supportive environment and reorienting health services okay now we studied for these five uh, five main function uh, actions area in some details First, we have develop personal skills. Develop personal skills, which is this can come in from information leaflets, health education and classes aims at developing personal skills to improve health. Developing this skill should result in individual making positive health choices. Second, we have create supportive environment, which is ensuring three up there are enough green spaces and parks work for people to exercise. It can also include health school or workplaces. Th third, we have strengthen community actions, which is when community join together to improve their health. This include community support services and events such as walk and running. Okay, and some example go to Tujam and Ito. Okay. Number, uh, number five, we have reorient. That is a change is the focus of health services, which is certain services focus more on the prevention of disease rather than just a treatment. This may include things such as screening service and immunization programming. And finally, we have built a healthy public policy, which is these are laws and regulations that help us to what help us to protect or improve people health. And then it may include things such as law against smoking and public area laws about wearing a seat belt in the cars and rule about wearing face masks in a public. OK. Like this. And finally, thank you all of you. I'm waiting uh, uh, your comment in my YouTube channel. Thank you all of you. Goodbye.